All right, welcome back everybody. It's Ken and we're back again for another crazy episode with the No Money Real Estate Podcast. In the show today, I'm gonna to talk to you about exactly how you can make $100,000 a month if you work hard enough flipping properties. Hey, my name's Ken Dunn and I'm a real estate investor. I wanna welcome you to the No Money Real Estate Podcast. On this show, I'm gonna interview elite level real estate investors from all over North America and I'm going to help you to see one thing that all successful real estate investors have in common. They built their portfolios without using a dime of their own money. I've got a portfolio of $300 million in real estate. That includes resorts, apartment buildings, commercial buildings, and I built the entire portfolio without using a dime of my own money. Real estate is a business that anybody can get into, but the strategies that those Titan real estate investors use to build massive portfolios have been kept secret for decades. Now, because of this show, I'm gonna reveal them to you. So let's get started. All right, welcome back everybody. Listen, I wanna take some time with you and unpack this for you right now because you've probably seen me in social media talking about house flipping. And I run ads and do a lot of things where I get a lot of public exposure. And I literally am gonna to prove to you in this podcast episode that you can make $100,000 in the next 90 days by simply flipping a property. And here's the best part about it. I can show you how to do this without spending a dime of your own money. So if you're right now working in a job where you're making 40 or 50 grand a year and you're struggling just to make ends meet and you'd like to do something to get to the next level in your life, then I want you to pay close attention to this because this is the answer. Now, here's the craziest part. And this is when all the skeptics on the internet go freaking crazy and start spamming my ads and calling me a scammer. It's when I tell people that I literally make a million dollars a year just doing house flips. And I don't use a dime of my own money doing this. Let me explain what I mean by that. Now, I'm going to tell you really quickly how this works, but then I'm going to slow down and unpack all four steps for you. And here's my promise to you. If you have the guts to watch this video or listen to this podcast for the next 30 minutes, you're going to know exactly how to do this. Every single part of it. I want to tell you one more thing. If you started listening to this on my podcast, then go into the notes of the podcast, click on the YouTube video and go watch the video again. Because my most amazing video producer, Dan, has literally taken this video and added all the graphics and stuff to it so you can really understand what this is all about. But let me tell you exactly how this works. I started flipping houses about 15 years ago. And it's really, really simple. Most people don't understand how simple this is. Step one, all you have to do is go out and find a dilapidated property. There's no dilapidated properties around. You're freaking crazy if you think that. They are everywhere. You just have to look for people that are hoarders or don't take care of themselves or don't take care of their properties. They're there. There's also people that are getting into issues with banks. All those properties get dilapidated and have to be sold quickly. I'm there to buy them. Step two is raise the money to buy it. And I'm gonna make this really simple for you because at the end of this session, I'm gonna tell you how I personally, through my company and my team, will lend you 100% of the money to do the flip. So what I do when I'm doing flips is I borrow 100% of the money. I use a technique called debt stacking to do this. Debt stacking is where I actually use three different mortgages stacked on top of each other so that I can actually get a cheaper overall interest rate. Well, the best part is this. I'm gonna teach you debt stacking in this video, but I'm also gonna tell you that my team will get you all three mortgages. I've got a program called Earn Profits Flipping. It's $897 to join this program one time. But if you join this program, then I will literally get you all the money to do the flip. So you can do this without any money of your own. If that doesn't got your freaking attention, you might as well stop listening to this right now and go back to eating your bonbons. I'm dead serious about that. Step three, it's increasing the value. Now, here's the best part. In a couple of minutes, I'm going to talk about a technique where I use an appraiser to tell me what it's going to be worth after the renovations are done. It's called an after repair value appraisal. And I never buy the property unless I know what it's going to be worth after the renovation so I can figure out all the math. So I buy the property, I increase the value, and then I sell it keep the profits. And it works every single time. Now, there's a lot of individual little touch points that I want to explain to you right now as we go through it. So let's go back and unpack this now. And we'll talk about all four steps. So step one is to find a dilapidated 
listed property. Now, when most people are talking about actually going out and finding a property, they all think about the same thing. They think about just going to get a real estate agent and getting them to help you. Well, you're never going to find the right properties with a real estate agent because they're all waiting for them to hit the market. The best properties I've found for flipping, I find off market deals. The number one way that I do that is using wholesalers. Wholesalers are individuals who make businesses out of contacting distressed property owners and cutting a contract with them where the owner agrees to let the wholesaler sell the property for them. Now, the reason people with distressed properties love wholesalers is that I, I rarely ever go look at the property and the person selling the home needs to sell it quick and the wholesalers can normally sell the properties quicker and the person selling doesn't have to worry about fixing it up. They can sell it as is. The two flips that I'm doing at the time of this recording, I've got two flips going on. One is on a street called Crow Street in Bowmanville, Ontario. The other one is on a street called Oxford Street, which is a duplex in Oshawa, Ontario. The Bowmanville property, I bought it for $510,000. It's worth $580,000. So getting it through a wholesaler, I know that I can get it cheaper. The other way that I'll do it is I'll go and look for rental properties. I will go on Kijiji and other online sales sites and I'll look for properties that people are trying to rent, but the, the ads aren't working or nobody's renting them. It's normally because they're garbage and they gotta be renovated. I'll reach out to those owners directly and offer to buy the property at a discount to take it off their hands. Or the third thing I'll do, I will look at MLS listing, but I'm looking for the properties that are sitting on MLS and aren't selling. And you can see, once you start looking at these properties, you can see exactly what the properties look like and you'll know what you're looking for. The other thing that's important, I don't just go buy any dilapidated property. Let's talk about location specifics. When I'm looking at a property, I want to start thinking about selling the property when I buy it. And that's probably the most important part of this. So I'm looking for very specific locations. And here's a list of the things I'm looking for. Number one, I want to be really close to elementary schools. I want to be inside of a city in a highly populated area, but I want to be really close to elementary schools because the, the perfect flips are going to appeal to families with young children. Number two, I want to be on major thoroughfares and major public transit. So buses or commuter trains. I want them within walking distance of these properties. Number three, I want drug stores and grocery stores within walking distance, five minutes to 10 minutes away. Now, I know you're listening to this and you're probably saying, oh my God, how can you ever find properties that fit all those things? I look on average at 20 to 40 properties to find one flip. And I don't mind doing that. It normally takes me 15 or 20 hours right up front to find the perfect flip. And I look at 20 to 40 properties, but I don't care. Because if I find one property, I'm going to make between 150 and $200,000 on each flip. So once I find the property that works, I'm gonna get the property under contract. So I'm gonna do up a contract for it and listen carefully to this. I only put one condition in my contract and that's appraisals. Now, most people are saying, well, why, why aren't you putting home inspections in them? If these things are dilapidated, don't you want an inspector to look at it? Not really, because the appraiser looks at the same things. And my appraisers will tell me if they see anything scary about the property when they're doing their appraisals. But the most important thing is when I get the appraiser in, so before I'll put it under contract, I'll give them a $10,000 deposit that I use from my American Express credit card. So I don't use any of my own money. And then I'll get the appraiser to go in and I'm asking the appraiser to do two appraisals. It's called double ending appraisals. And I think I actually coined that phrase. So I'm going to get the appraiser to do a double ended appraisal. If you want to know more about that, go to my YouTube channel and watch the YouTube video on appraisals. In fact, what I'll do to make it easy for you is I'll put it right in the notes. So in the notes for this show, you can click on the link that says appraiser interview and you can watch that video next. So a double ended appraisal means I want him to give me an appraisal and tell me what the property is worth right now because I have rules about this stuff. And one of my rules is I will never buy a property unless I'm buying it under value. What under value means is I'm actually paying less than what appraiser says it's worth today. So I get an as is appraisal and, and listen, most times if the ARV is high enough, I'll buy it even if the appraisal comes in at what I'm buying at. In most cases, you should be able to buy the property under what it's actually worth, under the appraised value. The other appraisal I'm going to give the person, I'm going to do up 
a whole list of my renovations right up front because I've already seen the property. So I'm going to give the, the appraiser a list of everything I'm going to do to improve the quality of the property. New bathrooms, new floors, new kitchens, all, everything I'm going to do. And I'm going to give them a list of what it's going to cost. And I'm going to say, Mr. Appraiser, Mrs. Appraiser, I want you to take this list. I want you to, to figure out what that's going to look like complete. Find comparables to that value and tell me what this property is going to be worth after it's renovated. And you know what? Most real estate investors don't even know to do this. They don't realize that for an extra $500, an appraiser will do, do both appraisals, the as-is appraisal and the ARV appraisal. And if you've never heard of this before, think about construction. Whenever a bank gives somebody the money to build a house, they always ask the appraiser to do an ARV appraisal. So they're very comfortable doing them. So what I want to see is this. When I look at that property, as I'm putting in the offer, I'm going to have pen and paper with me and I'm going to figure out everything I'm going to do to it. And I've been doing this for so long now that I'm going to figure out what each of these things is going to cost. So when I put my offer in, I already know I'm going to spend 120 grand on it as an example. So now I've got the as is appraisal and I know I'm buying it for 400 grand. And then I'm going to put 120,000 in to it. So that's 520,000. Now I'm going to borrow $520,000 and I even borrow enough money to make the payments. So if I have a 10% interest rate, 520,000 means I'm going to pay 50,000 in interest. So the total in is going to be $570,000. This is where the after repair value appraisal is so important. That ARV appraisal, if it says $800,000, then you can be assured that you're going to be able to sell it for $800,000 because the appraiser's reputation depends on it. So if it costs me $570,000 to buy it, to renovate it, and pay all the interest, and I can sell it for eight hundred, dollars now I'm going to use a real estate agent to sell it. So that means they're going to get 5% of eight hundred, dollars which is forty grand. So now that's 760 dollars But if I'm only five seventy dollars into it, and I'm getting seven sixty dollars on the back end... That means I'm making $190,000. So if all that works out and the appraisals work out, then I buy the property. Then I go out and I find a general contractor and I show him the budget and I show him the money I have for it. And I say, if you can do this renovation for me in this budget and do these things and I want it done in 90 days, I'll pay you this money. Plus, I'll also give you 10% as a bonus of the money I make selling it. So if I make 190 grand, I'm going to give him $19,000 as a bonus. I started doing this with every flip I was doing and the contractors love it. Today, I have a full-time construction company and does all my flips. I do eight to 10 of them a year and I make over a million dollars a year. And that's after I pay Patrick, my contractor, after I pay all the expenses. But I can do that because Patrick's got 10 guys working for him and he can do multiple flips at the same time. What does this mean to me? Look at these fingers. Look, I'm gonna run around to the camera, look. There's no calluses on these fingers. There's absolutely no calluses on these fingers. I don't do any work. I manage the whole thing. So friends, this means I'm making a million dollars a year flipping properties and I never lift a hammer. I don't have any calluses. I don't like tools. So I get the property finished. Patrick does. And he knows the faster he does it, the bigger the bonus he's going to get because I'm going to make more profit. Then I have agents that I negotiated a 4% deal with they sell the properties. It's really that simple. It's how it freaking works. Now, some of you guys are going to be saying, okay, that makes sense, Ken, but I'm not into real estate like you are. I can't do this. Oh, it makes sense, Ken, but I don't have no people with money. I can't find anybody to lend my money. I can't do this. Oh, I don't know any contractors. I can't do this. Well, I'm about to tell you how you can do it even with those negative thoughts. So I realized a couple of years ago, if you follow me at all, you know I own a major real estate development company. We're building resorts across Canada. We own short-term rentals all across Canada. We own triplexes and fourplexes and apartment buildings all across Canada. And all of the scuttlebutt that's going on right now about this housing crisis really started to annoy me because everybody thinks they have the answer to the housing crisis. And they say, well, the government's got to give more money. The province has to give more money. Everybody's got to give more money. Here's the real answer to the housing crisis. More people need to get into real estate investing. More people need to build houses. That's what it comes down to. So I was thinking, how could I personally help get rid of this housing crisis? It's by helping more people to get into real estate investing. So I started thinking about how could I help more people to get into real estate investing? And I asked myself one day, like, what is the smartest way for somebody to get into real estate investing? It's house flipping. 
It's by getting into doing house flipping, the things I just explained in this show. And so I, I put together a program that allows Canadians to get into house flipping. And it's freaking amazing. It's called Earn Profits Flipping. It's an amazing coaching program. I literally partnered with three other experts on house flipping, Sarah Roth, Adam Finch, and Jesse Top. With them, we launched a program where we help Canadians to get into house flipping. And it's freaking amazing how it works. So if you join the Earn Profits Flipping program, here's what you're gonna get. Number one, we have an online course that Adam, Sarah, Jesse, and I created. And everything I've talked about in this video is there in video lessons that you can watch. And it's a lot slower than I talk. So it's gonna be easy for you to go through it. But in addition to the online course, we have a private Facebook group that there are hundreds of Canadians in. And in this private Facebook group, you can get all the help that you need. And here's my favorite part. Every Monday night at nine o'clock Eastern Standard Time, we do a live Zoom call that everybody that's in the program comes to. And it, we're there to help every step of the way. So when you get comfortable with this and you go out and start looking at properties, if you think you find a property that works, come to the Zoom call with your MLS listing. We'll look at the, the property with you and tell you if it's gonna work or not. And then once you know it works, I'll help you to get a good American Express card so that you can use that for your down payment. Oh, by the way, you have to put a deposit on these properties when you buy them. I use my Amex for that. But when I raise the money from the lenders, I pay myself back. So I'm completely out of it. Here's my favorite part. I have built a list of over 7,000 private lenders across Canada. And all of these private lenders are willing to lend you money to do flips. At our company, we have a level two mortgage agent. Her name is Felicia and Felicia will help you to get the money. So when you find a property that will work, I'm gonna teach you how to build a lender's package. Lender's package is just a Google Drive that's got a copy of the purchase agreement, the budget for the renovations, pictures of the property and the appraisals in it. And then once you've got that together and it's all set up properly, we give that to Felicia and then Felicia will get you all the money to do this. Now, this program cost $897 to join. It's Canadian dollars, HST is included. It's only open to Canadian residents. And we have payment plans. So if money's tight, you can do two payments of 500 bucks. Or if money's really tight, you can start by paying $347 today, $347 in 30 days, $347 in 30 days after that. And here's my promise to you. If you pay $897 and join the Earn Profits Flipping program right now, if I can't get you the money to do the flip, I'll refund you. All I ask is that you watch the videos in the course, you show up on our group coaching calls every week, and you use the system that I've created. Friends, we have hundreds of people just like you that are doing house flips right now because of the Earn Profits Flipping program and it's a couple hundred bucks for you to join it. If you'd like to change your life and learn about real estate investing, this is an opportunity you don't wanna miss out on. And if you wanna take a closer look at this and join the Earn Profits Flipping program right now, I'm gonna put the link to our website right here below this video. You can click on that link, pay your fee today, and be on our coaching call on Monday night. In fact, I believe you're gonna do it. So I'm gonna end this podcast by saying simply, I'll see you on Monday night at nine o'clock.